Welcome to this festive edition of Phoenix Demos, where we show you how to mail merge in Worksite. A colleague has kindly reminded me that now will be a good time to send out some festive greetings. So I'll quickly file this email to Worksite and go into my DMS to find the letter template that I'll use for my mail merge. My colleague has left a note on MatterView with instructions on which letter template to use, and I can launch it directly from the note. So here is my letter template. To start my mail merge, I must click on the mailings ribbon on the Word toolbar, and then click on the Worksite mail merge button. Worksite needs me to identify my main document, which in my case is a form letter. Because my letter is already open, I will select Active Window, or I could browse Worksite for a different document. Worksite now needs me to identify my data document. Here I'll click on Select Data Source from Worksite because I have saved an Excel spreadsheet in my DMS with my client names and addresses. You can search directly for your data source or select it from one of your recent lists. I found my client address list, so I'm going to click on Select. Because my Excel file contains three worksheets, I've highlighted the worksheet with my data on and confirm that the first row of data contains column headers. Now, for my mail merge to work successfully, the letter template must contain fields to determine where the values from the data source appear. Because my template doesn't contain any, I need to click on Edit Main Document. Now, I want to add my address block to the top right-hand corner of my letter. So I'm going to click on that part of the page and click on Address Block on the Mail Merge panel on the right-hand side. In this window, you can determine the naming format for your address block. You can include a company name in the address and you can preview how the address has been constructed with the preview pane on the right hand side. Once happy, you can click on OK. That field has now been inserted. Just ensure that the field font size matches the rest of your document. Now let's insert our greeting line. Click on the part of the page where you want it to go and then click on Greeting Line on the right-hand side. I already have a salutation on my page, so I'll change the first drop-down to None. And I'm opting for a first name greeting. Clicking on the preview arrows, I can see all's in order. So let's click on OK. Finally, I want to add a reference to the recipient's company. So I'm going to click on the right part of the page and then select more items on the right hand side. From this list of available merge fields, I'm going to highlight company and then click on insert. After adding all of my merge fields, I'm going to return to the worksite mail merge button and then select Run Merge. In this resultant dialog, you can merge into a new document, send it to your printer, or email. When ready, click on the Merge button. Now, scrolling through the pages of this output document, I can see that all of the fields have updated appropriately. And just to wrap things up, I can save this document back into Worksite. So there you go. That's one way in which you can perform a letter mail merge 
using Worksite. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Phoenix and our products, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. You can go to our website at phoenixbs.com, or you can email us at info at phoenixbs.com. And for more of our product videos, you can watch our YouTube channel.